right, if you like that video, make sure you hit a thumbs up and hit this. All right, no. I tried to make it seem like this was the end, but I can't even keep a straight face. Um, this isn't the end, but you don't have to keep watching if you don't want to. That wasn't the actual structure. Like a, that was just kind of me building the beat. Um, you'll be able to hear the actual structure in the full song that I uploaded yesterday at the time that you're watching this now. Hmm. Probably could have timed that better. <laughs> For all my producer homies that want a further look into how I made this beat, the presets, the chords, and all that stuff, stay tuned. We're about to get into that right now. I'm not gonna lie, when you first told me to do it, I looked at the show, like I just Googled it, and I'm like, bruh, this is a baby show. Like, I'm not about to do this. So I put it off for a while, and then I was like, I kept getting recommendations. So I was like, you know what? Let me see what's up. So I watched the first episode, and I'm like, eh you know and then i watched the second episode and i'm like all right and then i got hooked so i just finished the entire show whoa there's a movie and then there's steven universe future now so i'm excited to watch all that but it's a great show what's next the world of gumball like what what's next for me i don't even know bro <laughs> i'm 22 let's get into this breakdown so first and foremost i had to figure out how to play the intro it's just like the singing part on the keys which took the longest because you know your boy isn't that proficient in keys. Played it on a whistle. I'm trying to keep this kind of whistle theme. I did it in um, Rick and Morty, Gravity Falls. Here it is. So I have that kind of whistle very low tucked in playing throughout, but it's mostly played in the intro with this bell. Super simple with drums, you know, lo-fi vibes. Next thing I did was these chords. So these chords, I kind of tried to match up the sustaining notes in the actual melody. So I used those notes to figure out what the chords are gonna be and I ended up playing this. You already know I put RC20 retro color on it. I got the vinyl two preset on it. That giveaway is still going. If you haven't seen my last video, I'm giving away RC20, Lounge Lizard, and Hybrid. All three I used in this beat. So that's Lounge Lizard. Um, I used Omnisphere just to layer it with like a pad that sounded, you know, make it wider. So after that, uh, I came up with this bass line. Uh, this bass line, I'm using hybrid, the same bass I always use, giving that away. And I threw Decapitator on it just to beef it up. It's similar to the melody, I'm following it a little bit. Other thing I really added was this little uh, bold guitar sound and I pitch bend it. I call it the sexy well sound. And that's pretty much it, really. I added some ambience or ambiance. Just to give it that Beach City vibe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Beach City. And then obviously I threw in a riser and I had to throw in some little snippets of my boy Steven just saying random things. One thing I wanna say about this drop, the melody is longer than eight bars. Pretty much it has that, and Steven, which is kind of like an extra note. So it made for a cool drop. So I kept it like that, added that vocal part, added the riser. Obviously the chords, they don't really have anything there, so. A few things to note, 
I did a lot of delay. I mentioned this in a previous video, but Ableton has this feature. You press this button right here, the D. Instead of nudging things over, you can delay the whole track. So this beat has kind of like an off swing to it. Even like things like this melody or the chords, they're like off by like 29 milliseconds. That's just something to take note of, something that you should definitely keep your eye on when you're trying to add some swing to your beats. That's pretty much it. Pretty simple beat, but it did take a while to make just because, you know me, I'm I'm addicted to my Ableton push. I like to just play chords on squares and rectangles and stuff. I'm trying to practice the keys more. I could have just downloaded the piano tutorial and just brought it into Ableton and did the audio to MIDI and then finessed it that way, but I really wanted to actually learn how to play it. Uh, that's just my personal preference right now. I'm trying to get better at keys, pretty much. Yeah, that's it. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Let's go for like 200 likes or something that'd be nice as i stated previously there is a giveaway in my last video my merch is up for like one more week left the ableton greater than fl so go check that out i'm a table.co get some i'm a table merch also my patreon is up it's finished so if you want to go support that check it out i gotta keep promoting it because nobody signed up yet but you know we'll see what happens you can stream this full song on all streaming platforms right now it should be live on spotify apple music and all that so comment below let me know what you think of it and also comment below which theme song should i do next i'm a table don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot do slash be eldrey out